All right, look, we're going to get into this bold set real quick. I'm going to tell you everything that you need to know about it. I'm definitely going to give you three reasons why you shouldn't be pulling these cards. Actually, I'm going to give you one good reason why you shouldn't be pulling bold cards. But I'm going to give you three reasons why 2K just may have fell off this year. Why NBA 2K, my team especially, just may have fell off this year. And then I have one reason, one big reason why they may have just revolutionized the game and the game may have just changed for the better forever. Forever. Something better may just be on the horizon for next year. Let's talk about it. But first, it seems as if Kendrick Lamar has dropped his diss song. He has dissed Drake back today. Euphoria has hit the streets. I got to listen to this first. I'm not going to listen to it with you. But you can go listen to it and let me know in the comment section what you think about this date. This, this, it cannot talk Got it. about this Drake diss from Kendrick Lamar. We Let's go. Let's dig in. I can't wait. That was crazy, crazy. All right, look, don't buy these bowl packs. If you buy bowl packs, you're crazy. You're sick in the head. You just might be the reason why the game is failing. No, nah, but honestly, I mean, why buy those? Because we have agendas for those. It's a purpose for these bowl cards. These bowl cards are for you to grind. You got 13 days to get these bowl cards for free. So what's the point in buying what they're going to give you for free? Pelicans rebounds. First thing you got to do is get 20 rebounds with Pelican players over multiple salary cap games. Don't nobody want to play salary cap. Ain't nobody got time for that. Bucks assists. Get 120 assists with Buck players over multiple games. Maverick points in the paint. Score 10 points in the paint with Maverick players in a game 10 times. TTO threes make 75 three pointers over multiple three. What? Over multiple triple threat online games, make 75 three pointers over multiple triple threat online. That's going to be a task. 100 steals. Get 100 steals over multiple games. What? Bro, I'm out, man. I think it's tripping. Win 10 games using three amethyst or higher trailblazer players. Score 50 points and get seven rebounds with a player in a game. Score 100 points with shooting guards over multiple multiplayer games. These are looking kind of crazy. I mean, these are looking out of the box. I don't know, buddy. You, 2K, y'all acting kind of corny, bro. What is this about? Like, why would you score 100 points with a shooting guard over multiple multiplayer games? But the one that got me, the one that got me is 100 steals over multiple games. What? You want me to get 100 steals? I'm tired already. I'm. This might take me four days. Score 10 points in the paint. That's easy. Bucks assist, that's easy, but a hundred steals is outlandish. Y'all got me clutching. I'm, I don't know, 2K. Y'all wildin'. Y'all are wildin'. Y'all are crazy in the head. 75 three-pointers is crazy, too. Over multiple triple threat online games. I don't know, 2K, but that's the rundown. That's what it takes to get these. And the, the reward is Clyde the Glide Drexler. Big. Big Clyde Drexler out here. I mean, we get another point guard, but that brings me to actually the tail of the tape. We're going to run through this real quick, real quick, real quick. I mean, I don't want to be that guy, but this looks like some weak sauce. I'm just I'm just going to be honest with you. Let's get into the first card. I mean, OK, first of all, we have Clyde Drexler here, Paige Stoyakovic, Drew Holiday, David West, Brandon Jennings. And then Pavel Podonkola. I cannot pronounce this man's name. Anyway, I mean, let's go straight to Bro, though. He is a, a seven foot five center from Russia. He is a seven foot five center from Russia. He has 19 Hall of Fame badges and eight gold ones. This card sucks, ladies and gentlemen. If you come across this card, burn it. Throw it away. You do not need this card. Under any circumstances, you do not want this card under any circumstances. Basic dribble packages, default big layup package, four dunk packages, Brooke Lopez and Brandon Clark jumper on normal. It's just not worth it. It's not it. This card has a 54 three point shot, bro. He can stand and dunk. That's about all he can do. He can rebound. It's 88 It's 88 rebounding. It's he can't rebound. I'm sorry. This card can't do anything for you or anything to help you move on. Brandon Jennings, another six foot point guard without a glitch. That is terrible. He has a 95 three point shot. He can shoot. He can dribble. 
speed with ball is up there. I mean, this card gets you something if you need it. It probably just, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. 20 Hall of Fame badges, 35 gold ones. This card is like nothing to really write home about. But at the end of the day, it's a it's a point guard. You come across him. He has Patrick Mills jumper on quick. It's I mean, for a pink diamond. OK, circus layer package, one dunk package. Uh, the, the cigs are trash. He does have Steph Curry's moving behind the back. He does have. I mean, that's all he pretty much has that I see that's jumping out to me. I don't see much going on with this card. Brandon Jennings, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, more trash. OK, David West, that's going to be another power forward, small forward, six, nine, small, six, nine power forward, small forward, 19 Hall of Fame badges, 44 gold ones with a 93 point shot. I mean, if you want to, <laughs> I wouldn't at this point in the game. I just have better cards than this. Um, If you don't, if you're starting out, if you're new, this is what they're starting you out with. David West jumper on normal. The the SIGs are I mean, he's not really a dribble dribbler. Default swing layup package with three dunk packages. He's not that guy. He's just not. He's he doesn't have a hairline. Speed with ball and ball handling's eighties, eighty upper eighties. Um, don't you're not looking for David West. Drew Holiday, ladies and gentlemen, six foot five point guard, shooting guard, twenty seven Hall of Fame badges, forty one gold ones. This man actually might be a little bit of a push if you come across him. You could check those uh badges out. 94 three point shot, 94 three point shot, 95 speed with ball, 95 ball handle, 95 speed, 95 acceleration. If you put a shoe on him, he can, he probably can get Siggy if he has the SIGs. Let's look and see if Drew Holiday has the SIGs. Michael Jordan dribble style, Stephen Curry escape moves, Chris Paul moving step back, um, moving Hezzy on Kyrie, floater specialist. He looks like he has 12 dunk packages. Drew Holiday's jumper on very quick. It's a Galaxy Opal 6'5 point guard. I'm I'm not mad at it. It's somebody that you may be able to use to get jiggy. Pedro Stoyakovich. This is the shooter that shoots. A 6'10 small forward, power forward. 27 Hall of Fame badges. 36 gold ones with a 98 three-point shot. This guy actually can, he can stand corner for you. He can stand hash for you. He can shoot the ball. He will shoot rock. That is what he will do. The jumper is... Evan Frontier and Jeff Green on very quick. The Sigs, he has Michael Jordan dribble style. I'm not seeing anything that pops out at me. Carmelo Anthony signature size up. Uh, moving crossover on Chris Paul. Kawhi Leonard moving spin. Hezzy on pro. Jimmy's moving step back. He has a default swing layup package and he has 12 dunk packages. Um, Paige is a shooter shooter. He's a shooter's shooter. 85 driving dunk. 85 standing dunk. Uh, he's a shooter shooter though. He, he will get out there and hustle for you. Fly the glide Drexter, the topper for this pack, 40 hall of fame badges, 30 gold ones, dark matter, Clyde Drexter, six, seven point guard, shooting guard, point guard with a glitch. He has a glitch with him. These dunk packages look, I mean, not dunk packages. I'm so sorry. These badges, you can scroll through. He has a 92 three point shot. 96 speed, 96 acceleration, 99 vertical. This man has a 98 driving dunk. I thought that would be a little higher. He he did play above the rim like that, but mostly with the layup package. I thought that driving layup would be 99, 95 speed with ball, 95 ball handle. This card is not looking too bad so far. LeBron James layup package with 15 dunk packages on him. Clyde Drexler's jumper on very quick. Kyrie Irving dribble style. Uh, Trey Young escape. Okay, Trey Young escape. Steph Curry's moving step back. So far for me, it's a W. Tim Hardaway's combo. D'Angelo Russell signature size up. I mean, elite motion style. You pair you pair that size up in that dribble style with that escape move and that moving step. Excuse me, that that moving step back. Yeah, he's it. He actually has has a package with him. Rajon Rondo's moving hezzy. We're going to have to see what he's sigging like. I'm not going to hold you. I am not going to hold you. So that's Clyde Jeff. So that's your bold four. These are your bold four cards. Now, what I do want to say is these cards look pretty trash. They gave us a seven foot five center that can't do anything. I mean, come on. We just got Yao and then y'all laughing our face with that. 
But what I want to get to in this video, I actually wanted to talk about a thing or two. First off, I wanted to tell you if you're opening these bold packages, you're done. Don't do that. I mean, the grind looks kind of crazy for him. Talking about 100 steals. I don't know how long it's going to take me to do that. But David Robinson is still here. You got two days from the time that this video drops to get David Robinson for 20 bucks. If you want David Robinson, I wouldn't go get him. He's not that he's not that guy. Put it like that. There are better centers out here. Come on. If you need a center, though, he's there. That's basically for people that are they, they're catering to people that are starting out with those type of drops and they're trying to get their money off, too. We're going to open this uh 20 box, this 10 box, though, 10 base pack. All right. My first topic that I wanted to actually talk about, I had three reasons for you why the game may be a failure next year. The first reason is they took out that auction house. If they don't bring that auction house back, it just may be a wrap. It just may be a wrap. That may be the reason why their earnings are low now within the 2K realm, the take two realm. But who knows? It could be it could be other things that are going against the the uh, income that they're making. Now, reason one is that auction house. Definitely. I feel like that auction house needs to return. If that auction house does not return, I do not think that these people have a chance in heck or a leg to stand on. I really do. I really do think that that auction house is one of those key terms. Now, they could be sitting in a cut with a trick up their sleeve. They could have a loaded sleeve, but who knows? I mean, but that's that's just the way I'm looking at it. My reason number two for the game, if they don't change, this is one thing that they have to change. If they don't change this, then then it may be a failure next year. This is really, this is serious. The um, utilization of the player market. I feel like they failed with the player market. I feel like the player market was a definite failure. And if they bring back the same system next year, they just may not have a leg to stand on. Now, it would take, this would take some compound failures to go along with it. But if they bring back this uh, player market, they're going to have to use the player market way different. Now, they told us that we would have cards on the player market that we'd be able to use and that we'd be able to get to that we wanted. Now, I mean, that just was not the truth. They failed. They fumbled the bag right there. They definitely fumbled the bag with that. One. We we had cards there, but not cards that we wanted. They put all the all the throwaway cards in there. You know what I'm saying? Like it just it just wasn't right. They didn't do us right. Reason number three, why they may drive away a lot of people from playing this game. Reason number three, before we get to reason number three, I have a whole lot of these packs right here. We're going to open off these playoff packs. I'm saving these stratosphere packs for something else, but we're going to open all of these playoff packs. If you don't know how I got these playoff packs, you can go down here to the agendas. And my I completed the agendas already, so they're down here. NBA playoff packs. In the agendas, you'll see these in the agendas and there's a bunch of playoff packs. They're easy to get and you get a deluxe playoff pack for completing the whole set. Anyway, reason number three, 100 overall cards. 100 overall cards, I feel like threw off, threw off the entire balance of the year. Now we have 100 overall cards that we can't get to that, I mean, it drove a lot of people away from playing the game. Honestly, so my concern is that if they bring back 100 overall cards, they're going to have to switch up the system a little bit. There's going to have to be some type of change. They're going to have to be more obtainable and maybe they're going to have to come into the game at a later time. 100 overall cards kind of changed the game so much and changed the pacing of the way these cards came out so much that we have a lot of dark matters in April that I don't think we should have in April. I think some of these cards maybe should have came out a little bit later, late at a later date. I'm not sure, but I think the pacing has been sped and 100 overall cards definitely sped the pacing. I mean, that's just the way I'm looking at it. That's the way that I see the game at this point. I mean, it's it's not a complete failure, but it definitely threw a lot of people off of the, the chase, like threw a lot of people out of the game. But at the same time, the people with the money to spend, if you have a bunch of money to spend on the game, 
I mean, I can see you liking this type of pacing because you get you get cards that are actually really, really good, really, really good cards. I mean, really powerful cards. There are some powerful cards out there right now in April. And then one thing that I actually want to address is where's Kobe? They said we would be getting Kobe in April. Season six is season six with 16 days left. It's April with no days left. This is the last day of April as I'm recording this video and collector level Kobe has not. I don't see him. I'm not close to having how many cards it takes to collect him. But I I mean, where is he? Where is Kobe? I, I don't even I don't even know if we have enough cards to have to even get to Kobe yet. But that's that's my reasoning for it. My third reason why 2K could be a, a definite fail. We definitely can. I mean, you can drive a lot of people away before the season, before the game came out, before the game even dropped. I was toying with the with the idea of going and playing Madden, maybe going to build content around FIFA. And at this point, I'm not necessarily toying with the idea anymore. It's more of it's on my list of things to do. Next year, I definitely want to dabble off into some different gaming. I'm going to I'm definitely going to play GTA 6. I mean, we have to play GTA 6. Everybody's going to be playing GTA 6. Everybody's going to be uploading GTA 6. And at this point, it's not. I mean, it's just on my board. It's on my list of things to do. I'm actually thinking about oh, dropping on the second channel, the Ballad of Gay Tony. I'm actually thinking about maybe playing GTA 4. Run through that. But I definitely know I want to I want to run through the Ballad of Gay Tony and I want to run through the Lost in the Damned one more time. I actually feel bad that I missed the time. We, we it was, What a time to be alive when those games were brand new and when those games came out and it was time to just like like dive into those stories. Those stories were so good. I want to bring them to you on the second channel. So be looking for that. But OK, we can't we can't lose track of the fact that. These base playoff packs are garbage. We haven't seen anything in any of them. And I mean, literally, these are these are garbage. Throw these away. These cards that I'm getting out of here are not even new cards. I need some newer cards to add to my collector level. Please and thank you, 2K. OK, we got to get to the point, though. The point is the game is the game mode is suffering. The game mode is suffering. And it's suffering because we don't have an auction house. The auction house was the backbone of this game. I mean, this whole game mode, the auction house was the backbone. Now, I understand that you guys were kind of feeling slighted that there were so many third party services selling MT. But I feel like you cornered the market when you guys decided to sell MT. So if anybody at Take Two is listening You've already cornered the market. You can set the price to where you can um, maybe even make a, a bigger cornerstone on the market. But I feel like if you brought back the auction house, it would make the game mode pop. You would bring the game mode back alive. And the fact that you're selling MT, I don't have to go to a third party service anymore. I can just buy the MT directly from you. I mean, I know that the third party services would still sell MT, but I know that you'd be taking a big chunk out of that. You'd be taking a big, you'd be taking a lot of that away from the third party sellers and because you're selling it directly here. I don't have to go anywhere else to buy the MT. I don't know what that would do for the market. I don't know what, what type of market it would, it would create. I don't know if it would be volatile. I don't know if it would be a steady market, if it would be a, a good environment to buy and sell cards on the auction house. But I mean, I feel like you can, I feel like you can implement the auction house and the player market and figure out some kind of way where you can use it all to your advantage. Okay. Now the one reason I want to come to this one reason why the game mode just may be a win. What, what may win for you? What may be the one reason why you will prevail next year in this game may be over the top. You hold all of the keys. You hold every, you have all of the tools to make this the best game ever. And what could, 
what could potentially make this game better than it ever was is if you take the player market and you actually make the cards attainable on the player market next year. I'm talking about all the cards. I'm talking about maybe maybe make them outrageous prices. You can make them outrageous prices. But that is the key to making this the best game that we've ever seen in my team. Next year, we can have the best my team ever. If you take these 100 overall cards and you actually make them available on the player market. I mean, if I could get Yao Ming for 5 million MT, for 7 million MT, that would make me buy 7 million MT. If I could, the whales will go buy 10 million MT just to get the card that they want. Now, now these cards would technically be available, but they wouldn't be available for everyone. No, I mean, not everyone can't go get 10 million MT. Everybody can't go get 13 million MT in order to get 100 overall Michael Jordan. But that would make that would make you a substantial amount of money from those people who can afford 1 million, 30 million, 50 million MT. Now, I'm exaggerating. I may be exaggerating a whole lot. With the with the amount. But I'm definitely not exaggerating with the idea. If you can put every card in the game. Into the player market. And you choose the price. Depending on depending on what you feel like would make you the amount of money that you need 2K. You know what I'm saying? If anybody at Take Two is listening to this right now. The player market can save the game mode. It's either the auction house or the player market. Either one can save this game mode from what we had to go through this year and what we were not satisfied with in 24. Going forward, I feel like you hold all the keys, 2K, and you have the ball in your court to make sure that we have a beautiful time next year being able to get to the cards. And then that could slow down the pacing, too. That can actually make it where you can dictate the pacing and kind of shovel these cards out at a slower rate. But I mean, that's, we got, we covered everything so far. We've got to what it takes to get these, these bold number fours. And I've given you the reasons why the game is suffering and what we can do to fix it. This is just some ideas and I'll be coming with some more of these down the line. So be looking for these type videos. Kendrick Lamar just got back at Drake with a crazy diss. Something crazy, bro. Y'all got to go listen to that. It's called Euphoria. He went off. But, um, God did it. God did it. Y'all be cool. Your booze mean nothing. I've seen what makes you cheer.